guys, thanks so much for clicking on my channel. We're all smiles over here. I am with Sanja's like asking a question. Will Sanja help you keep a smile for today? And hopefully the answer is yes, you guys. I'm gonna try not to keep it long, but y'all already know if it gets good. I'm gonna keep on talking. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. The goal to next today is I shall not be moved. Exactly. But before I get to running my mouth, let me shake up this manifestation jar and get our confirmation for today. Yes, let us see what we're going to receive. Yes, confirmation. Confirmation. All right, the first one is when strong marriage. That's what I'm talking about. Don't you give up. Don't you give up. No, he still love you and you still love him. The bond will be strong. Strong marriage. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. God can fix and repair and restore anything. Yes, it can. Pay off home. Ain't nothing wrong with that. And I'll take it. And you better take it. What you say now? Yes. Last but not least. Oh, uh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh. <laughs> Financial loan sum. Ain't nothing wrong with that. That's how you're going to pay off that home. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. And let's get into it. That's why we can't be moved. Who want to miss out on that right there? Lump sum. Paying off the home. Huh? Who, who? Hey, not me. I ain't finna be moving. You been out either. Listen, I know sometimes when you're waiting to receive your manifestations, right? It feels like you're waiting in a line at an amusement park, whether Six Flags, Disneyland, Disney World. And you know you've been in that line for forever, right? And you've been get into you begin to sway a little bit right because you already been waiting about an hour or so and the line still look like from here to china you get what i'm saying and so you there you asking yourself man is this ride really worth it we could have got something to eat before we got here or you get to thinking about a whole lot of stuff right and then the people that are around you who are waiting on their manifestation but see they're a little different from you they ain't all the way aligned and connected because they want to get on the ride, but they gonna do more complaining than you. You you doing a little snippet of complaining, but you still a little bit aligned and connected. And because of that, the people in front of you and around you, they gonna start talking out loud. So you just thinking this stuff in your head. We've been waiting for a long time. Da -da -da -da. The people around you are saying it out loud. They're going like, listen, I don't know if this is this is worth it. Um, I think I'm going to take me and my family. We're going to go ahead and get out of line because we've been waiting too long. I'm tired. I'm thirsty. I'm hungry and whatnot. And they're going to look at you and ask you, aren't you tired? Do you think this ride is really worth it? I don't. I don't. And then they go ahead and decide to what, leave. And when they leave and get out of their position, you do what? You step forward with your family, right? And then before you know it, after waiting a certain amount of time, you're on the ride, right? All because what? You decided not to be moved. It's the same way in the manifestation, y'all. You can't give up now. You can't stop. You can't stop. You got to be like that tree planted by the water. You got to dig deep within you, which means what? Stay aligned and connected because in those roots, it's going to allow you to understand that you have come this far by faith. How that song go? We have come this far uh -uh, by faith, leaning on the Lord, trusting um, in his holy word. He's never, ever, ever failed us yet. Oh, 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 can't turn around. Uh -uh. Why? Because we come this far uh -uh, uh, by faith. I could have sung it, but you know. But that's, that's how the words go. You have come too far. You have endured so much. You mean to tell me you're going to just brush it off? You mean to tell me you went through that for nothing? You know what? When you're just about to get your manifestation and you give up, People who ain't even root for you, they'll look at you and say, man, you were that close and you gave up. Mm. I saw the boss was about to give you that raise and you quit. <laughs> but I got it now. That's how people look at you. Even people who ain't even root for you, they see how close you are. People can sense and feel how close you are to your manifestation. They know it's coming. Even when you can't sense it, for some reason, that's how it is. Sometimes everybody around you can see change about you. But because it's you, and you wake up and seeing yourself every day, you know you're growing, but sometimes we don't see ourselves in God's glory, in God's grace, in God's favor. But other people can see that about us when we're staying aligned and connected, right? And so what other people do, they look at you and they say, something different about her. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. Something different about him. He just look different. It ain't a haircut. It ain't the jeans. It's something different. They look like they ain't ran into some money. Hmm. I wonder if they got a raise. They walking like something's happening. I wonder what it is. 
that's how people be looking at you. People that don't even talk to you on a regular basis. People that, that you don't even know watching you. They see it about you. You can't give up now just because you don't sense, you can't sense <laughs> that your manifestation is super close. Can I tell you what? When something is so close to you, it's hard for you to see it. It's so hard for you to see. Y'all know I gave that example to you guys that if you put your finger right here, close on your nose, just stick it right on your nose. You can't see it when you're looking out. Why? Because it's right there. That's how your manifestations are at times. It's right there at your fingertips, right there. But because you're looking so hard, because you've been waiting for so long and you're beginning to sway a little bit and you feel a little tired, a little hungry and whatnot, uh-huh, a little thirsty and whatnot, you can't really feel and sense it sense it but people around you can they know change is coming how uh was that um oh, that, that's not old as ready um the changes are coming uh who is that dog oh, i can't think of is that old as ready they talk about a change i think it i think that's it change is coming yeah but they could sense they i, I heard a song about, i don't know if that maybe that's jimmy hendrix that's jimmy hendrix yes change is coming i think that if i'm not mistaken but anyway anyway other people can sense that your change is approaching, that your manifestation is approaching. They can see it. That's why you get a whole lot of crazy stuff happening right before you receive your manifestation. Why? Because people sense that you're about to get blessed. They sense something great is about to happen. They don't know what it is, but they can sense it. That's why people, places, and things will begin to throw darts at you, begin to throw things in your way to get you to trip up because they don't know what it is, but they're saying they don't want you to have it. But what you got to say to yourself is, well, I should not be moved. I ain't going to move out of my position. God have me right where he wants me. I'm going to stay aligned and connected. I'm going to make sure I'm thinking positive. I'm going to make sure I'm thinking possible. I'm going to have the right people talking in my ear. I'm going to have the right people around me. I'm going to make sure I engage in the right type of conversations. Why? Because I ain't going to be moved. Because I'm not about to miss this ride. This ride that has a lot of peace on it, this ride that has a lot of joy on it, this ride that has a lot of love on it, this ride that has a lot of coin on it, okay? A lot of moolah on it, this ride that has your wife on it, this ride that has your husband on it, this ride that has your kids on it, this ride that has your raise on it, this ride that has your new house on it, this ride that have your new car on it, this ride that has your what? Healing on it, this ride that have your spiritual growth on it. You ain't finna give that up. That's what's on that ride. That's why you can't get out of line. You've been waiting and waiting and waiting. If you get out now, you're going to miss out. You won't. Trust me. Trust me. You don't want to start over. You don't want to start over. You have come this far. Do you remember where you was, were before you got to where you are right now? You know how it is when you get to, the, get, to get on that ride? You way in the back. But slowly but surely, you're moving up moving forward. Are the people getting out of line in front of you? And guess what? You move up furthermore. Even though people talking crazy in front of you, you're moving up furthermore. Why? Because I shall not be moved. Listen, you gonna get your manifestation. If you're taking all the steps to making sure you stay in the line of connecting and you're really asking God to be at the forefront of your life, you're really asking God, God guide me, God lead me, God show me what to do, tell me. It's something I saw today. It said, um, when you seek me, you will find me. And when you search with your whole heart, that's where you'll find me. If you truly are seeking and searching for God with your whole heart, you will find him. And that finding will give you the strength to stay standing in the position that where God has you until where you receive your manifestation. So don't give up. What's the song? I just can't give up now. Come too far from where I started from. Nobody told me that the road would be easy. And I don't believe you brought me this far to leave me. You ain't come this far for God to say, I forgot. You ain't come this far for God to say, uh, yeah, I changed my mind. No, God keeps his promises. He keeps his word. Are y'all listening to me? How long is this video? Nine minutes, almost 10 minutes. I hope y'all got it if I talk this long. But listen, say it with me. I shall not be moved. Why? Because the wet best is yet to come. So you might as well do wet. Inhale, exhale, and wet. 
Inhale, exhale, exactly. God got you. Stay firm. Stay unmovable, okay? Okay? And align and connect. I'll talk to y'all soon, but if y'all didn't get this thing, rewind and watch again. But in the meantime, in between time, if you take just a little bit of what I'm telling you and apply to your life to the best of your ability, you won't ever, 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 ever have the mask of smile. Why? Because your smiles will always be genuine. I'll talk to y'all soon. Be blessed, stay blessed, be blessed, stay blessed, and don't be moved over there, okay? God got you. Y'all know what's coming next. Ciao!